Welcome to another unboxing and first look on Linus Tech Tips, and in this one, I'm going to try and throw something up and catch it behind my back. Ow! Oh, yes! Okay, goes to show you, nerds can be athletic too. At any rate, this unboxing is something that I had to buy for myself because I had to take apart an SSD and some other random stuff. This is the iFixit Pro Tool Kit. And unlike buying the one screwdriver that I actually needed individually on eBay, which was going to cost me like 15 bucks with shipping, this one cost me, here we go, 75 bucks with shipping and includes a bunch of different stuff that's, uh, that's very, very handy. So the dangers of disposable furniture. I think this is basically just their e-blast. Say goodbye to leave on. Yeah, this is just great. Who cares? Uh, okay, so use this coupon code for five dollars off your next. Okay, well I guess someone gets my coupon code. Although this looks pretty generic, so I think uh, everyone gets a coupon code. Um, yay! So this is the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit, which includes sort of weird and hard to find tools and screwdrivers and stuff like that for techs who want to be able to do things. So you've got some. I don't know, I didn't even look at everything it includes. So little plastic, uh, you know, t Apple removal junk for taking apart things like iPhones and iPads and pry bars and things like that, as well as what appears to be tweezers for grabbing stuff. <coughs> Wouldn't have minded seeing one of those pickle grabbers in here because those are friggin' awesome. Here's another pair of, uh, of tweezers, okay, presumably also for grabbing stuff. Another pair of tweezers, presumably also for grabbing stuff that's around something. Grab stuff, fuss at stuff, get it out. Okay, flat tweezers for grabbing stuff that's harder to grab with a point. Okay, these are all handy things. Uh, what's in here? I, I, like I said, I really didn't look that closely. Ooh, suction cup for like taking things apart. Anti-static wrist strap. Okay. So you can actually put that either around your wrist or your ankle. See, that makes contact with your skin. And then uh, this goes to something that's uh, presumably attached to a ground. So you'd either you'd stick a wire into like an outlet and then... Not, okay, be, okay, be, okay, don't just stick a wire into an outlet, okay? The ground pin of an outlet. And you can put that on it. Or you could even just put it to something large and metal, like the back of a power supply, for example, or even a case would be fine. And then you are grounded all the time. By your parents, presumably, because uh, I can't think of who else would ground you. Okay, moving right along, we've got more plastic little bits and pieces. So we got a point on that end and some kind of hook or something on that end. Okay, cool. And we have uh, two spatulas. There we are. Okay, some more spatulas. And more of like a flat sort of feather-shaped guy, but made of metal. A metal feather, that's what we'll call it. Okay, and then some more spatulas, one sharp, one dull, and ooh, a measurer. Okay, ooh, look at that. That one goes in your pocket, so you can put that right in your pocket right there, and it'll stay right there for you. Also includes, if you can't fix it, you don't own it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, repair is better than recycling and saves the planet and all this good stuff. This looks like unit conversions. Very, very cool, so inches to... I don't know. Maybe it isn't unit conversions. Doesn't matter anymore. I'm putting it away. All right. Finally, the part that I actually needed, which wasn't any of that stuff, which is the iFixit 54-bit driver kit, which has a bunch of... Oh, ow, that hurt. <laughs> jammed, my, uh, jammed my thumb there. Startled me a little bit. Which has a bunch of stuff that can be useful. So I hope it has a tri-wing because I really need to fix my DS as well. But here they're all labeled, so you've got all kinds of different really, really tiny Phillips and stuff like that. Okay, 3.5, 4.0 slots. The uh, seriously, I don't, I don't know if I can say that word without this becoming an offensive unboxing. Okay, tiny, tiny little size one slot. Some ah, here we go. Torx. So you never know when you're going to run into ah security Torx with the hole in the middle. So those are for some of those difficult to remove things. Some more security torques. There's that tri-wing. So there's uh, just three prongs on it. Otherwise, it looks kind of like a Phillips head. Ooh, pentalobe. There we go. That's the one I need to take apart that SSD. Two, five, and six size pentalobe. So that's a star shape. All right. Then we've got, uh, what's that? That looks like, what is that, like Allen key or something? Except it goes on a screw. I don't know what that is. I don't need that one. I already found everything I need. Ooh, more security bits. 
Oh wait, no, those are just sockets. Never mind, not security bits. Okay, can you tell that I bought this without knowing what it was? Looks like an extension for the screwdriver itself. And then, ooh, that's nice. Look at that, that is, that's a balling precision screwdriver. So there's the rotating top, just like all precision screwdrivers. Rubber here, so that you can actually get some grip on it and torque things a little bit. And then you've got a spot to put the bits right about here. So if you wanted to, say for example, put this bit in, which looks pretty similar on both ends, actually. And then you could, I don't know, do something with that. It's magnetic, which all good precision screwdrivers, or really any screwdriver, should be. And then finally, oh, no way, it has one of these? Cool. So this is a flexible doodad. So you can actually get around things like this, and you can screw something in from an angle. So you can see, even though this is turned, I can still, see that? I can still turn the screw. Very, very, very cool stuff right there. So that is pretty much it. That is the iFixit. ProTech screwdriver and other more random different tools kit. Thank you for checking out this unboxing on Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, that doesn't stick very well at all, does it? Maybe my face isn't quite greasy enough. Try the forehead. Yeah, there we go.